Welcome back to Venture Off-Road Australia 4x4 for another sailing episode. We're at Peel Island in Queensland's Moreton Bay. With supplies running low, a sail back to the mainland is on the cards. But not before some fun on the paddleboard. Morning on Peel Island. Not too many people around today. We've got a nice little sunshade up. It's working pretty nicely. Previous owners of this boat have put a lot of effort into both the uh, this sort of boom tent, I call it, sunshade, and the, the cabin tent there. They're really well made and perfect. I mean, headspace in here. Excuse the mess. But, you know, I can stand up. Got plenty of head height there. I'm nearly six foot tall. I like to think I'm six foot, but I'm not. Never quite got there. At some point, I think we'll head back to Cleveland and just check on the cars, um, get a bit more food, bigger supermarket, and then head back out. We weren't sure whether we were just going to stay on Peel Island for only a couple of nights. We're thinking that we might actually just stay with Craig and Grace's tent set up here and keep coming back here to camp. There's a nice sheltered bay to camp in in the boat as well. We'd just dry out overnight. That's the way the tides have been anyway. The tides are going to change a little bit. Hi. Hi. Got a bacon cooking? From our calm, sheltered anchorage in Horseshoe Bay, it was hard to grasp how challenging our sail across Moreton Bay would be in the forecast 15 knot winds out of the north. But we would soon find out. Heading back in to Cleveland for some supplies. A beautiful day for a sail. I mean, it's a little bit overcast, but it means that the sun is not uh, glaring down on us. We're gonna scoot back into Cleveland pick up some more food and water and ice thinking we may do a lap around Peel Island if the conditions are right because we're gonna have to wait until dark before we can actually get back to the beach where Craig and Grace's tent is but that's all set up still making about four knots at the moment Peel Island over there, and then Stradbroke all the way out the distance there. Whoa! <laughs> 
Craig's on the tiller, I've got the sheets, and we were pushing, what do we mean? 6.3, wasn't it? 6.3 knots we were pulling before, and I just had my hand on that main sheet, didn't have it locked in, so that as we healed over, more than we were comfortable with, you just let it out a bit, spill a bit of wind. But it felt really good, we weren't really healing over too much, and now we're sitting on 4.8. We can probably pull in that main sheet a bit now, see what we can get. Five. Previously, our fastest speed was 5.6 knots, so we smashed that with 6.3. Whoa! Six knots, they told me, was warp speed on an Ultimate 18, and we got 6.3, so we're pretty happy with that. Yeah. <laughs> How long will it take us? At this. Right. Yeah. <laughs> We've been going for 33 already and it is saying 1 hour and 43 minutes. Kids having a good hangout. Pretty happy with how those telltales on the jib are flying. It does look like it's sort of wanting to backwind a little bit. Maybe I need to just bring it in a fraction. That'll do. We're hooking along at a good speed, so. Yeah, so I was what? thinking like I stopped from Zara and then Zara's. Sorry, what's the wind? Um, currently 14 knots, gusting 15. <laughs> Is that the windiest we've been out on? Oh, no, we, we're doing 15 knots, so it's, it's about the same. Yeah. 14, 15 knots of wind, according to Willy Weather, and 5 knots of boat speed. It's a good sail. Pretty happy to just be cruising on about five knots. This is, I'd say, the best cruising speed we've ever done. If a dolphins or a whale or something like that would be fantastic right now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So when we were on Karaya Bay doing 15 knots of wind, and we made 5.6 knots. Yeah. We were sailing under the working jib. So it's a smaller sail. Today Whoa. we've got the Genoa out. So we're, we're yeah. full, under full sail. Whoa! <laughs> this is good fun. Morton Bay, loving it. Close to Cleveland now. So I'll just head around that point and then turn around to the south and pull into what will hopefully be a nice calm jetty. <laughs> we'll go and get some extra food and supplies. These waves are the seas are pretty big. been back over to Cleveland we've done our shopping the winds well the winds probably about what it was the seas maybe picked up a little bit and it's certainly given us a test but we've reduced the mainsail so we've got one reef in the mainsail and we've changed to the working jib 
it's a little bit kind of you know there's potential for a storm there is a little bit of shower activity particularly over Peel Island which is over there in front of us and certainly the seas are giving us a run for our money we're talking probably a meter and a half waves now so we're testing our skills but we're doing all right we're having fun Craig's on the tiller again I'm working the sheets I'm holding on <laughs> <laughs> Grace is not feeling sick anymore. And Isaac is lying down so he doesn't feel sick and Emily's just chilling. <laughs> Living the dream. We haven't bothered removing the fenders. I did go forward to um, release the tie on the head sail so that we could raise that and then I forgot about the fenders on the way back so that, yeah, they can stay there. It's no big deal. I think we're all, you know, the adrenaline's pumping a little bit. Some more than others, would you say, Rach? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we're having fun. We're having fun, Craig. We sure are. Did I ever think we would do this? Hell no. No, I don't think this was ever really on the cards for us, was no. it? No. Until it was. <laughs> Main sheet. We're getting closer to Peel Island again. So, calm it down a little bit, I suppose. We're getting to Peel Island, which is now there. So, Peel Island is starting to just shield us a little bit from some of the wind and also a bit of the waves, too. So, the seas have eased off a little bit, which is nice. And we're still cruising along at about four and a half knots. So, it's going well. Mm. Getting the yawns now, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is just a bit too easy now. It is now. It's all right. Before though. <laughs> Back in Horseshoe Bay, we anchored in Cook Tea while we waited for the tide to allow access to the beach. While we waited, we were treated to a storm in the distance. It's not easy to get long exposure shots from a rocking boat, but Rach managed to get a couple of cracking lightning shots. Leaving Lady Emma behind and we're going for a walk down the beach. There's a big sandstone sort of cliff face, rock formation, whatever you want to call it, down the end there on the headland. And supposedly that's where the quarantine station is. That I think it was in the late 1800s, maybe even just into the early 1900s, that it was a quarantine station here. So if you were coming into Australia, I suppose, and you were suspected of having any sort of disease that they didn't want coming into the colonies at the time, you would have been quarantined out here on Peel Island.
this is a great little spot to come and explore just between Horseshoe and Platypus Bay and Rachel's losing her thongs in a sludge hole. <laughs> that was so they just good. sunk! So if you do come to this great little location, watch out for the sinkhole. It's not too far from the shipwreck in front of Platypus Bay. Beautiful little rock formations. And just a nice walk. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this is what Craig was showing us earlier. These mollusks. If you know what these sea creatures are, leave us a comment and let us know. I've never seen anything like them. Standing in Platypus Bay now. Now we're going to take the inland track back past the quarantine station, the old quarantine station. I don't think there's going to be too much left of it, seeing as it'll be over a hundred years old, well over a hundred years old. Hi everyone and welcome back to the podcast. I'm so happy to have you here today and I just want you to know that I'm living my Jumanji fantasy right now but the bugs, they're not here. Thank you. Thanks for sticking around till the end of the video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button Give it a thumbs up and leave us a comment. And we'll catch you next time when we head for Bribey Island and attempt to fly the spinnaker for the first time.